and today I've uh, invited uh, Trina Cullen, Senior Loan Officer at All Western Mortgage. Hello. And the reason I invited her is because you've, uh, if you're part of, if you're one of my clients, you've probably received in the mail uh, one of the item of values um, that I sent this month, which is, which is uh, the theme is uh, getting the mortgage monkey off your back. You know that when you purchase a house, it's an exciting time, it's a fantastic moment, but it's also the biggest debt that you'll probably get um, into for, for your entire life. Right. And 30 years uh, to pay interest, 30 years is a very, very long time. And so the reason I invited Trina is because I wanted an expert to uh, share with you some ways you can pay off your mortgage early yeah. and save ton of, tons of money on uh, interest and uh, shorten you know, the duration of your mortgage. So the first thing I, want, we want, I wanted to talk about is uh, prepayment penalties because there was a time where there were prepayment penalties on mortgages and some of the people watching may still have those prepayment penalties. So tell us a little bit about what it is and uh, what they should and shouldn't do if they have a prepayment penalty. So the prepayment penalty, um, exactly, it has pretty much gone away. Uh, if you are still subject to a prepayment penalty, then the um, most of them were sliding. So the the longer you were in your mortgage, the less your prepayment penalty might be. Um, many of them are all written very specific to the lender who was originating that loan. So you just want to go ahead and see exactly what the cost is for you to refinance. A lot of times, um, and we'll show you in more detail, uh, that that cost can be offset by restructuring your amortization and hopefully saving you money in interest. Fantastic. Very good. So prepayment penalty, be careful. Make sure that you know uh, what you're going to have to pay if you want to refinance, and then mm -hmm. you can figure out if it makes sense or not. Exactly. Right? Okay, good. So now we've got that out of the way. The one thing I wanted you to share with us is paying a mortgage early. Why is it so important? What are the benefits? Well, uh, the benefits uh, right off the top is just saving money. Uh, restructuring your amortization with just a small amount, maybe $120 a month, could save you years in interest, which could eventually equate to tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. What is the, uh, the actual cost, uh, if you can put like a figure or an approximated figure on the actual cost of going through the entire mortgage and paying according to the amortization table. How much more so I is happen, the house costing? <laughs> I happen to have that on a $280,000 house, which is right around the median income house uh, for Las Vegas right now. Over a full 30-year time period, you'd save, well, you'd pay about $510,000 total, uh, $230,000 of that being just interest. Almost double the price of the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see how important that is and how valuable it is uh, to pay off your mortgage early and exactly. how valuable what we're about to share with you is going to be to you if you put it in action. So <laughs> um, there, there are several ways you can pay off your mortgage early. There are several different, several different, several strategies, sorry. And so I wanted to cover some of them and get your inputs and, you know, tell us what, what the benefits are right. and maybe which one you'd recommend if it was your own mortgage. Let's do it. Okay. So the first strategy is the bi-weekly payment. So instead of making one payment a month, you make one payment every two weeks. How does that work? So uh, basically, I would suggest that you set this up first on your own if it's something that interests you. Uh, you will normally get solicited for an outside company to try to set up your uh, bi-weekly mortgage payment for you. It is something that you can normally structure with your servicer. Um, the good part about this is that you'll wind up making essentially one extra payment a year. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you have the... Um, kind of uh, personal uh, structure to be able to actually set aside that money and make one total payment per year and apply it directly towards principal, um, it, you will come out a little bit ahead. Uh, what that actually looks like if you make one additional payment per year, instead of paying that $230,000 in interest over the life of your mortgage, it will cut it down to 191 or shave five years off of the mortgage. So five years, that's pretty significant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And almost $40,000, right, if the math is correct? Is that, is that the difference? It will, exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. You'll save $40,000 in interest. Okay, that's, that's a few vacations right there. Yeah, it's a lot of vacations. <laughs> and so, so how does that work? Um, you said you prefer that, you would recommend that they set it up themselves. I know that there are third-party companies. Mm -hmm. Usually when you buy a house, they bombard you with letters and saying, hey, set up a bi-weekly uh, payment through us. We'll only charge you, I don't know how much, but 
they don't need to hire anybody. They can do it by themselves, right? Right, exactly. And if you decide that this is something probably want to start that before your first payment was even due. Um, if you could set that mm -hmm. up uh, so that you're always, you're normally always paying your mortgage in arrears um, and your mortgage company would have to then uh, set you up on the plan so that you're not being counted late for that second half of your mortgage payment okay. every month. Okay, perfect. Now what I heard it said too is that um, one, one, one of the ways to guard against problems is to write on the check itself that this is the first um, portion of a bi-weekly payment. Is that, is that true? If you write that on a check, it helps you, making sure that the bank does the right thing with right, it? Right, exactly. So unless, if you're not specifying where you want that money to go uh, when you're making your monthly payments, then your lender may be applying it to just the next payment to offset it. If you want money that specifically is going in a bi-weekly payment structure, or money directly towards principal, you want to always make sure that you use the memo portion of the check so that if there was ever any kind of accounting mm -hmm. error and mm -hmm. you weren't getting the full benefit, that you'd be able to go back and document that information. Perfect, perfect. So make sure that you write it on the check. You don't need a third party company, and that will save five years of about $40,000 on a $280,000 mortgage. Correct. So quite a significant yeah, saving. Yeah, exactly. So the second method is matching the principal payments. So if we take this exact same example, a $280,000 uh, loan at 4.5% interest, yeah. what that actually is going to do is have you pay roughly about $369 towards principal on your first payment. Um, one thing most people don't realize is that you are not paying the same amount of principal and interest on that loan throughout the life of the loan. You pay very little towards principal on your first payment and then the majority towards principal on your very last and it's a sliding scale throughout that 30 year time period. So your first payment would be roughly about $369. Um, so if we add that to the principal every month, you will wind up effectively making your mortgage less than a 20 year mortgage. You wind up paying it off in 19.75 years. And it saves you about, what is that? About $90,000. Oh, so it's an even bigger saving. Yes. Just by matching the, princ the principal payment. Correct, correct. And in this particular example, it was about 369 bucks a month. Wow, that's really worth it. Yeah, to amass $90,000. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, correct. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's probably worth to brew your own coffee at home and stuff, stopping by Starbucks, nothing against them, but you know, the saving is pretty significant over exactly. a period of time. Um, the third method is uh, to make an extra uh, full payment every quarter. So what that actually winds up looking like is, um, in this particular example, it's going to be roughly about $473 towards your principal um, every month if you wanted to break it down on a monthly basis. So um, again, you could do that on a quarterly basis or you could break it down um, and apply a little bit over every payment throughout the year. Mm -hmm. uh, it would move your mortgage from a 30 year down to an 18 year mortgage. Wow. So that is, is very significant, yes. And instead of paying that high $230,000 in interest, you'd be paying about $129,000 in interest. So a little that's, bit over $100,000. It's a lot of money to save. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it's so important to understand how your mortgage works, uh, the amortization table and, and, and the payments. And I think the, the most important thing to know is that you don't have to pay by the schedule they give you. Correct. If you pay by your own schedule, you can actually flip the tables in your favor. Exactly, exactly. Right? We call it beating the bank. Beating the bank. Yeah. Um, cash influx. Let's talk about cash influx. So there are a couple of ways for you to deal with a lump sum payment towards your mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, what a lot of people don't realize is that, let's say you had a, another property, um, a rental property that you wound up selling or got a, uh, a large influx of money you would be able to go ahead and actually recast your mortgage if you infused with most servicers, I'll, I'll make a caveat there, that each servicer has their own specific requirements, but most of them will allow you to do a 10% cash influx and then they will restructure your loan. So I had um, an example here where we put in on that $280,000 loan, $28,000, and we shaved off um, about 200 bucks a month. Hmm. 
So, uh, but it does still stretch it out over that full 30 year time period. Right, it doesn't change. It's right, still, yeah. exactly. So you save it on a monthly basis, but then you could, again, put that savings back onto your principal mm -hmm. and save a number of years. Um, you could also just go ahead and apply that lump sum directly towards the principal and with the same amount of money and the exact same example for a $280,000 property, a $28,000 influx, would um, move it move you from 360 payments down to 297. Wow, that's a huge saving. Right. So so far, you know what we've been covered. Most of the the most of the, I, I'm sorry. Most of the methods we've covered involved paying additional money every month, except the first one where you just change the schedule of the payments. So with the first with the, the, the biweekly month payments, you don't pay more at the, over a period of one year. You just pay at different times. The other methods involve having extra cash to put towards the mortgage. Right. 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 Okay. right. So the next one is refinancing to a 50-year loan, which in my opinion is probably the best way to start with a 50-year loan, but not everybody can do that. Correct. So when you refinance, uh, when I guess my question is when to refinance, when not to refinance? So there's a couple of things to think about. Um, some people don't qualify for a 15-year mortgage, um, and that's something that you know we have very specific standards for qualifying people's income. Sometimes um, for the people who are self-employed, let's say, they may actually be bringing more money in than we would be counting. Um, so if we can't refinance you into a 15-year mortgage, we can definitely set you up on an amortization schedule that's tailored to uh, work just like a 15-year mortgage. Really? Yes. So the other thing to think about is the cost of refinancing um, versus the savings that you have. And oftentimes people will look at the, the cost of the refinance and go, well, I'm only saving like 120 bucks a month. Is that really worth it for me to go ahead and go through that process? Um, but I have an example here for you that if you put that $120 a month back onto your mortgage, you would wind up paying off your mortgage in 25 years. So mm -hmm. often it is worth it, uh, but you have to really crunch the numbers to make that decision for yourself. But on a 15-year loan, um, just straight up, if you were qualified for a 15-year mortgage, uh, you would, instead of paying um, that high dollar amount of interest that we had talked about of $230,000, you'd wind up paying $105,000. Wow. So it's a very big savings, and your monthly payment would only move in this particular example from seventeen or I'm sorry, fifteen ninety-seven to uh, twenty-one ten. So roughly about mm -hmm. four or five hundred bucks a month. Okay, so sometimes you know it's actually oftentimes it's better not to just look at the monthly payments, but look at the impact of that monthly payment on the life mm -hmm. of the mortgage. Exactly. Just like you said, one hundred twenty dollars saving a month may not seem a whole lot, but if you reinject that money towards the principal of your mortgage, mm -hmm. it saves you a huge amount of money. Exactly. Exactly. Right? About forty thousand dollars. That's that's something that's that's very significant. The um, I think we've covered um, all the methods that right. exist. Most right? of, yes, yes, all of the methods to go ahead and try to get that mortgage paid off early. The other thing to go ahead and think about is that a lot of folks right now may have gotten into a mortgage in recent years where the interest rates were only maybe three and a half percent and are looking at interest rates being a little bit higher right now, so they shy away from looking at a refinance. If you have amassed any kind of additional consumer debt, that we may be able to go ahead and restructure by rolling that into the mortgage, you could save a whole lot of money. I have an example here for a person who is currently paying 3.5% in an interest rate, refinanced into a 5% interest rate, and rolled in about $15,000 in credit card debt, and they are saving $939 a month. A month? A month. That's significant, too. So th those are for people who um, use credit cards, maybe without counting, or had to use credit card because of the situation, an emergency. Mm -hmm. so, so they could refinance at a higher rate, use pull some of that equity out, mm -hmm. use to pay it off the consumer debt at the high and then reimburse it over time for 5% interest rate. Exactly, exactly. And you save this money and you could utilize some of that money to set aside for whatever, um, mm -hmm. your own personal life, go on vacation, yeah. or you could reinvest a portion of that money and again save 
uh, tons of money and interest. Right, right, and so go into a bi-weekly yeah. payment and accelerate mm -hmm. the repayment of that exactly. mortgage. So mm -hmm. you get rid of the credit card debt and uh, you accelerate the mortgage payment. Exactly. It takes discipline, but it's totally doable. Very good. Well, thanks for sharing all that information. I think that was very, very useful. Oh, it's of my course, pleasure. we threw a lot of stuff at you, and maybe I don't know if we went fast or not. Uh, we do that all day long, so it's you know, it's for us. It's a, it's a second nature. Uh, if you have any questions, if you are thinking about refinancing, if you're thinking about buying a home, or if you just have questions on how to pay off your mortgage early and accelerate, you know, the uh, the end of your mortgage, where can they? contact you how can people can reach you oh how wonderful. can people reach you so all right you can contact me directly at 702-210-7775 or you can email me at tcolone at allwestern.com very good and i'll put all that in the comment section uh once that facebook live is over again this was uh, eric auger with trina collin senior loan officer with uh, all western mortgage and uh, to this subject was getting the, mo the mortgage monkey off your back, how to pay it off early, save uh, thousands and thousands, and some, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars, yes. just by being smart on how you pay off your mortgage. So yep. I hope you find the information useful. Again, where, uh, your phone number one more time if they need to reach you. 702-210-7775. I'm here to answer any of your questions or to clarify any of the information that we went over today. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's my See pleasure. You Bye, guys.